Well, a man is questioned in the sexual assault of an 11 year old girl. He's released, sparking outrage from the victim's family. Chicago police, though, say the case is far from closed. Dana Rebic live for us at police headquarters now with the latest. Dana. That's right. Police Superintendent David Brown says detectives are in the process of building a case against this suspect. But in the meantime, family of this victim and the community on edge with him still not in custody. My daughter is scared. Lissy Wakefield pleading with police to arrest the man who sexually assaulted her daughter on her way home from school late last week. She's not eating. She She's having nightmares. It happened Thursday at 3.30 in the afternoon in the 6200 block of South Indiana. The man came up behind her, put his hands over her mouth, and pulled her into a secluded area of an alleyway and sexually abused her. The girl was eventually able to run away. He had made all of the children in this city feel unsafe. According to the victim's mother, community members identified the offender after recognizing him from this police sketch and called 911. Detectives did take him into custody for questioning and sent a photo of him to the family. I looked at the picture. I showed to my grand my granddaughter. I said, who is this? She broke down. Oh my God, Granny, that's him. So my granddaughter know what, what, she, what, what happened to her. She know who did it. She said she'll never forget his face, ever. Despite that, the family learned detectives released this man yesterday. She was saying that she can't hold him on the attempted rape charges. That she have to let him go. And he was, they released him at the hospital. And we do have a sense of urgency, um, but we have to get things right. Police Superintendent David Brown and Chief of Detectives Brendan Dinahan questioned about the decision at a press conference today. The detective assigned to the case is in contact with the family and the uh, individual of which they are speaking. He is a suspect, but we're working with our state's attorney's office in order to, you know, build the case, uh, which we have to in order to, you know, possibly affect an arrest and get to charging. It's very disheartening. And then to wake up this morning and hear that they let him go. LaToya Smith, the victim's grandmother, lost her son to gun violence. This 11-year-old girl just a baby at the time. Our family has already been traumatized. And if they let this man go free, then we're just being traumatized all over again by the city of Chicago. Superintendent Brown would not say if police are keeping an eye on this suspect's whereabouts or if this case was compromised in any way by the victim seeing this man's photo. Live at police headquarters, Dana Rebic, WGN News. Thank you, Dana.